Okay, as you can see, I've erased the lines, I've erased the faces, and I've now elevated my bottom view flat surface up to an eighth of an inch. From here, we can now get rid of the guidelines, so I'm going to click on the eraser tool. And if I click and hold my mouse and slowly drag across, you'll see that the guidelines are now turning blue, and when I release, they disappear. So I can do the same thing with these here. All right, so we have our bottom view and we now have our side view. What I'd like to do is I'd like to group everything together so that we can start moving things around. So you'll see if I click individual parts of my side view or top view, um, you're going to see that individual things are being selected. So what I want to do is I am either going to triple click everything or you can draw a box using your select tool. From here, we're going to right click and we're going to make a group. And again, what that does is it clumps everything together. So now when I try to click on one of these surfaces, it will select everything. And I'm going to go down here and do this with the bottom view also. Right click, make a group. I'm going to kind of move this off to the side because uh, we will eventually want to print off the side view in this bottom view. But I think many of you want to see what your bridge is going to look like three-dimensionally when it's placed together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the side view first and I'm now going to click on the move tool. If I zoom out just a little bit more, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down the control key on my keyboard and then what I'm going to do is on the left side somewhere I'm going to click and drag and you see that it's going to make a copy of my side view. When I release everything it is now made an exact copy of my side view. So I'm going to do the same thing with the bottom. So I'm going to select it, click on the move tool. I'm going to hold down the control key on my keyboard. I'm going to click and drag it all the way up to the side and kind of align it just like that. Now I'm going to move this off to the side. I'm going to kind of forget about the first ones that I made. We actually have two sides to your bridge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually copy another side view, but I'm going to bring it down over here because we want one to one the left side of the bridge bo uh, bridge bottom and one onto the right side. So the next thing I want to do is I'm going to kind of position my bridge so I can see it like this. Being that I'm still selected on the move button, okay, if I hover over to the side, um, you are going to see to the left and right of this on edge face there are plus signs. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to hover over and you're going to see that a protractor appears. What I want to do is I'm going to click and hold the mouse and drag it down. What I'm doing is I am rotating this 90 degrees and I can double check in the bottom right hand corner. It said actually negative 90, but again, it is a 90 degree turn. Once it's got 90 degree turn, I'm going to release and I'm going to do the same thing with my other side view. So I'm going to select it first with the cursor tool select the move, click and drag till it says 90 and you'll feel it kind of snap. All right, so we are good to go here. Um, the next thing that we need to do is we actually need to bring the bridges together. So what I'm going to do, being that this one is already selected over here, technically what I want to do is I want to bring this corner right here and match it up with this corner right here. So I'm going to click with the move tool. I'm going to click here and I'm going to bring it right up to this corner and then click and you'll see that it has now brought it together. Okay, I'm going to zoom out a little bit and the next thing I want to do is I actually want to take this corner of this bridge, match it up to this corner. So I'm going to select this side, click on this corner. Oops and I want to bring it up to this corner here. Okay, so now if I zoom out, okay, you can get a pretty good idea of what your bridge is going to look like. Uh, if you would like, you can also draw a square on here and you can push-pull that to, oh, I think we have a mistake. Let's see here. Oh, okay. So what, what I can see is this side is correct. This side is incorrect. So if we're taking a look, 
this left side here is actually flush to the bottom, which is what we want. We actually want to bring this one down a little bit more. Here we go. So I'm going to click, move it down. Good. All right. So what I was doing before is I drew a rectangle on this face and our top view is simply just going to be a couple sticks of balsa wood um, laid either on top or in between to prevent the um, side views from kind of pulling apart during the testing. So I'm going to use the push-pull feature to pull the balsa wood stick through here. So I can come in probably up along here, zoom out a little bit, and I want to push-pull that to the other side. And for some reason my zoom button is not working, so I will just improvise. Oh, there we go. All right, so I'm going to come in here on this corner and make another rectangle and push pull that to the other side. Good. You can also get super creative and you can always click on the paint bucket tool and you'll see that there is actually an option for wood paneling. Um, this here, the OSB is actually similar to um, the balsa wood. So if you want, you can get a little creative and you can color your balsa wood bridge to actually look like a balsa wood bridge. Okay, so we have what your bridge is going to look like when it's fully together. And then off to the side, we have our individual side view and top view, which we will use for printing, which will be on the next video.